What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Gadget Beard. Today we have a video on how to convert your ZTE Blade X Max into a Pixel. Now, the very first thing you want to do is already have it saved here, but you want to head over and Google Pixel Launcher APK. Now, I will have the link provided below if you want to get it there. There's two places that I recommend you getting it. One of them being XDA Developer Forum. But if you're not too familiar with the developer forums, you want to scroll down here and you see where it says Pixel Launcher APKs. APKMirror.com is pretty much run by the guys in Android Police. So that is another recommendation link I suggest you getting it. So number one, you can get it at xdadevelopers.com or apkmirror.com but I will provide the link below and you'll be able to get that from apkmirror.com already downloaded the app so the next very thing you want to do is head over to settings you want to go under security and you want to enable unknown sources if you do not enable unknown sources the app will not install so with that being said let's back out of there since i already installed the app i need to make that launcher my dedicated home launcher so if you see that is currently on launcher 3 as default now we're going to enable pixel launcher boom there we're going to go back home and voila there you see it so now you do have the swipe up to go to your app drawer you have your friday march 23rd and your weather there as well and on top if you have your google calendar it'll, it'll display your your upcoming events or your appointments and like that if you swipe right you do have the google home now feed there and uh apparently Dana White says Demetrius Johnson is not fighting TJ Dillashaw. That sucks because I really wanted to see that fight, but let's back out of there. So the next thing you want to do is download the Google Messaging app. You can get that at the Play Store, but you what you want to do is I don't think you can disable the messaging app, the stock messaging app. If you go app widgets, see you can disable it but you can set your Google messaging as default. And once you click it, it will ask you, you hit yes, bam. So now Google messaging is your default app. So if you want to get your events or meetings displayed on top of there, the next thing you wanna do is download the Google Calendar app. Now I did disable the stock calendar app that came with the ZTE Blade X Max, but now you have your Google Calendar there. Let's go ahead and skip through that. Got it. Bam. Allow. Boom. There are my appointments. Now, if I wanted to, then my appointment will show up here. If I had a appointment currently showing up or coming up anytime soon, the next thing you want to do is disable the stock internet browser and either download Chrome if you like Chrome, but you don't have to do that. But besides that, just by converting the launcher, you can go ahead and hold that. You can go to your home settings here. You can kind of tweak a little bit of the home launcher there. And you have a customization app here where you can enable dark theme, which is awesome. And you can disable at a glance or four color, four colored Google logo. You can put a color Google logo on the dock on the search bar there. But let's back out of there. And I think we have dark theme by going here. Um, another thing what we want to do is you want to make sure you have the Google Assistant app. So go ahead and download this on the play store so what that will enable you to do is to say okay google and the app will come up as you saw there or what you can do is hold the home button to launch google assistant there so there you have it guys it was just a quick video to show you how to 
basically convert your ZTE Blade X Max into a pixel like phone. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And like always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.